Hi everybody, it's Cynthia from Closet Revival. I am so excited to show you what just walked in the door here. Literally, it's been in the store for less than an hour. I thought we'd go ahead and just let you all enjoy the actual unboxing of this beauty. So, this particular lady had kept the shopping bag for us, the beautiful Louis Vuitton box, the dust bag, and then guess what's in here? This is the elusive Speedy Bandolier. So it's that iconic Speedy bag that everybody loves. Some people call it the doctor bag, but guess what? It comes with a strap. So now it's actually called the, uh, the Bandolier. So the strap is included. I didn't realize this because it's honestly the first one we've gotten in the store, but the strap comes in three different pieces, which means if you want to, you can take this middle section out, rebuckle these two pieces together, and that way it can just be a shoulder bag. The way that it is now, long enough you can definitely wear it as a crossbody. So beautiful condition. This is the Damier Azure. So it's kind of the ivory colored and navy checkerboard pattern. A lot of people really love this look for, for um, summer. I thought I'd show you a few things about this bag because anybody who shops here you know we only do authentic bags. So let me show you how you find the date code in the Speedy. It's under this canvas pocket that's inside. It's stamped in the leather. So it's always going to be um, two letters followed by four numbers, at least the more modern bags. And it is a date code, not a serial number. So it's basically embedded in that code is the country that it was manufactured in, and then the week of the year, and the year that it was manufactured. So SD is the country code. And then these next four letters, the first and the third represent the week of the year that it was of the of the year that it was manufactured. So you're going to definitely have a value way higher than 12. So don't worry if you see a 32 or something popping up there. And then the second and the fourth are the year that it was manufactured. So this is a really current bag. It's from 2016. She also, of course, had her lock, which is something we rarely see with any Speedies. Still has the little bag and both of the keys. Usually if we're fortunate enough to have a lock, there's no keys, but she's got both her keys. Let me show you something, an interesting little thing about the Louis locks is there's a number on the lock. They're all numbered. And then obviously the corresponding numbers on the keys that go with it. And just because we're talking about how to identify fakes and that we only sell authentic bags, I was gonna show you a couple or fake locks that we have. We do train all of our buyers so they know. I'll lay them out here so it'll be a little easier to see. So fake, and hopefully it's obvious, really shiny. Whenever you see this kind of super gold shiny hardware on any part of a Louis Vuitton, all the belt, all your chimes should be going off saying that's not real. This is a little better fake lock, so they've tried to replicate the shape of the keys. Fortunately, you can't feel it, but these are super light. They weigh absolutely nothing. There's no number stamped on the bottom of the lock, and it's really not the right color. So here is the real lock, so side by side, and the real keys. So again, this one's a little better fake. This one should be obvious to you, but just a good, good little tip on those. A little history about this bag, because it really is the most iconic bag I think that Louis Vuitton makes. They first introduced it in 1930. It's been around for a long time. This particular size, though, the 25 is a little bit newer. Um, Audrey Hepburn actually special ordered a smaller Speedy for herself just because she was a petite lady and wanted something a little, a little bit tinier proportioned for her. So they started making the 25 just for her. And if you're wondering what does 25 mean anyway, because clearly it's not 25 inches, it's in centimeters. So you're just measuring the bottom of the bag from side to side, 25 centimeters. And this bag comes in four different sizes right now. 25 is the smallest, although they do look, make a little mini bag. So I guess technically five sizes. So the mini, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And price-wise, just to let you a little know, um, let you know a little bit about you know what a good investment Louis Vuitton is. Prices go up every year. They really do appreciate in value. So. You're not making that up to your, for your husbands if you're telling them that, it really is true. This one came in, she bought it in 2016. The receipt said 1370. It's currently on their website for 1430. So it's, it, they're selling it for more. And then interestingly enough, it's not available. So it's sold out. The only place that you can buy this bag right now is in the secondary market. So some of the um, 
the designer and resale sites, Fashion Found in particular, have a couple of, the, of this particular bag on their site right now for fifteen fifty. Yeah. So they're actually selling it for even more than it retails for because it's sold out and you can't get it. Our price is only eleven ninety five, so a great, great deal. And he's gonna snap that up super quick. We have one other Speedy in the store right now. Also the Damier, this is the Abin, so the brown checkerboard. Just another little thing for you to know about. The lining in this style bag is gonna be red. So in a Speedy, it's red cam canvas. Sometimes it's that red suede feeling fabric, but this one's red. And if you remember this one, it's just kind of more a, a beige color. And then because we had this bag in our little buyer training basket, I wanted to show you a fake Speedy. And hopefully everybody's already saying, oh yeah, I can tell that's fake. First big giveaway should be the color of what's supposed to be the leather trim. So obviously not leather, that kind of, um, you know, Barbie skin color, I think is the most accurate way to describe it. Compare it next to the, the honey colored leather on the real bag. So the real leather, it's gonna darken with age just with, you know, the, the oils in your hands, just natural soiling, it's gonna darken a little bit. They kind of put a weird plastic edging on here that I think there's a part where it's like cracking off like real Louie it's it's dyed on there it's not some weird piece of plastic that's going to snap off the stitching is way too bright a yellow I think we talked about that lock anything that's bright colored or shiny not real common mistake with a, with most of the fakes is they're way over logoed so they've got LV stamped on the the oval piece and LV snap over it and this is, this is just not what the pull tab on a real Speedy looks like at all. You can see on this one, this is what a real Speedy pull tab looks like. So just the snap. You can see the, the hole's not the right size. Nothing about this is right. And if you aren't, weren't already convinced this one is fake, this has metal feet on the bottom, real Speedy, no metal feet. They've spliced another piece in the bottom the real monogram speedies, they're made from one continuous piece of coated canvas. And I pulled this little popcorn bag off the shelf to show you what I'm talking about. So this is one solid piece of material. The logo's right side up on the front. It's upside down on the back because it's one continuous piece. So when you see something like this where both sides are right side up, automatically know it's not right. And then lastly, when I measured it, this one's 27 centimeters. There's no such thing as a speedy 27. So just final little note on that. No, no, no. So hope you'll come in soon and take a peek. It's only been in the store an hour, so it's not gonna last long. We are gonna be open tomorrow, Good Friday and Saturday. We'll be closed on Sunday for Easter. So we hope to see you soon. Have a great Easter holiday, and we'll be back with a new video on, on Tuesday. Bye-bye.